Action One, check, check. doing it for the culture. It's time to finish with Marcus Garvey started. Mic check. Put your mouth where the money is. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Jayna Cole, and your boy, Atum Rye. Yeah, what it do? Tell them who we had today. I'm a hustle till I die in the streets on God. What it do? It's your brother, Atum Rye. A1MC's in the place to be today. A1MC's is where we bring y'all the hottest and the brightest that the underground independent artist market has to offer. And this week, you know, uh, you know, it's, just, it's another person that is already a part of the A1 family. Uh, you know, in case y'all don't know, um, you know, how, how many, how many weeks ago was that? Man, it, it feel like it was yesterday, but I know it, yeah. I know it wasn't. But um, we we a few weeks ago we had our A one anniversary concert, where we celebrated our inaugural year. Still here, still kicking, still live, uh, and uh, the 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 talented young lady that I have here today. Uh, you know, just to. Just to just to give it give y'all the real y'all know being a uh, um, an independent business, things never go as planned. Uh, you know, trying to put on shows and events, uh, things happen. You know, what I'm saying from when you start the planning till you know the day actually comes, and you know we 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 had a situation to where you know we we needed a pitch hitter. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? We needed um, somebody that would be able to step in, but. You know, we I mean we we had people, but we needed somebody that that still kept that same vibe and that same essence. Uh and you know, I, I threw a bunch of names out there, you know what I'm saying, from the people I knew. And I our director of events said, Nah man, nah man, nah. I know who we gonna get. <laughs> she called up Miss Amanda Sharif. Whoop, whoop. And she came through and showed out. <laughs> What up, sis? How you doing? Hi. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Now we appreciate you because we, we appreciate uh any any artist that's willing to support us and our creative. Of course. Vision. Uh and you know, just just know, uh, you know, like I said, you're you're always a part of the collective. Thank you. Uh, and, and and then plus, I love your music. Oh my god, thank yeah, you. I love your music. Thank so, you so um, much. <laughs> you know, this is your first time up here at the studio. It is. Uh, tell the people a little bit about yourself, where you're from, uh, and just how you got into uh, singing and doing music. Okay, so my name is Amanda Sheree. That's really my name. Like yeah, my mama really named me that. <laughs> I couldn't think of no nickname or no flyer name, so I was like, I'm gonna just go <laughs> with my real name. Keep it real. Um, I'm from Houston. I'm from Harm Clark. Hey. Harm Clark. Stand up, baby. Y'all see? Y'all see? Hey, man, we got Harm Clark in the building today, man. You know what I'm saying? It's over with. It's over with. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got started in music. My mom said I've been singing since I was like two or three. My, I can't remember the name of the song. I think it's, um, I think it's As Yet. I think that's what it's called. And it's, I give you the sun, the moon, the stuff. Y'all know the song? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. yeah. I've been singing that song. Like, that's how I would introduce myself. So... I kind of was like really forced into music because I tried to give up. I'm not even gonna lie. I've given up so many times, but I came back. It was like the only thing that kind of like made sense. So yeah, I'm here. I'm booming. Right, and I'm doing my thing. Nah, you, you definitely are. You definitely are. Uh, and you know, you just rocked the stage this past weekend. I did. Uh, oh my God, I had so much fun. Indie friendly, man. So uh, much fun. How, Thank how you, Sid, yeah, again. How, how you get involved with Andy Friendly? Man, look. So I've been knowing Sid since high school, like okay, okay. like he says every time. Like we've been knowing each other since high school and I've been singing a long time. So like I'm glad that he actually created this platform for okay. independent artists. So he just reached out to me and was like, Hey, I want you to come perform. And I was like, Of course I'll do it. Like, okay, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Shout out to homie Sid the man, man. Another Harm Clark connection in the building. You know what I'm saying? That's what we go back to. <laughs> uh and you know, I've you know, I have Kind of like you just said, I, you know, we I've known him since we were kids. For uh, real? And, uh, you know, I, I'm really uh, proud of the person that he's he's grown into. Me. Very sweet guy. Uh, and I'm also proud of the artist that he's grew up to be because, I mean, you know, I didn't know that he had all that he had. Cause, I, mean, he I was, didn't either. Right, he was, he, well, because he was always talented musically. Like, yes. Uh, Sid was 
always a musical genius. Uh, you know, back to when we was just uh, using pens and making music on the table. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He used to make some crazy sounds. <laughs> That's the old uh, You know what I'm saying? Do, do crazy things with his voices. Uh, but, you know, to, to elevate it to the level he's at. And then also to create the platform and link up with the big homie Aunt Boogie. Uh, he's so me. sweet too. I love him so oh, much. Man, man, he's you know, so sweet. Yeah, yeah, nah, man. He, yeah. So, you know, uh, you 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 brought up a, a interesting point, just kind of bringing it up about the the journey of an independent artist. It's you so know. hard. Oh my god. You know, I mean, but you know, people see you all in the videos. They hear your music. Look, like, I ain't gonna you, lie. You out there? It's hard out here for a pimp. You hear me? Yeah. Like, but it's very satisfying like if you really just kind of stay the course do what you're supposed to do and just stay true to your passion like it's well worth it like for real for real right. it's so worth it what was the what was the moment for you where it really kind of clicked for you that you know you can do it on a, a professional level because i definitely consider you a professional <clears throat> oh anybody God, that, that's you. heard you sing thank you it's, it's, it's definitely uh but what, what was the moment for you i know? will say I literally just made up my mind back in 2017 when I came out with Cuffin' Season. I was like, you know what? Let me just try to actually focus on music and see what it do. The response was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was so, so, so crazy. I was like, oh, shoot. People really going to support me? Sure. People really think I'm talented? Yeah, yeah. Dang, what I'm going to do next? So that's kind of where it kind of clicked for me. So, I mean, I always knew that I could sing. Right. But I mean, just because you can sing, don't mean that you can make good music. Absolutely, absolutely. So, good songs, or, yeah. Or anything that people gonna vibe to. So, what was some of the inspiration when you created Cuffin' Season? Man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it is a feel good, it's feel good music. <laughs> so, Cuffin' Season. You know, I've been single a long time. You know, it's it's more like a fantasy. Like, why y'all ain't trying to cuff me up? Like, what's good? I'm out here single. Like I got beautiful teeth. Yeah, I got, I got breasts. Bad. Like hey. I got a Get dope that. personality. <laughs> Snatch me up, baby, before everybody yeah. catch on. Yeah. So that's really that really was the inspiration behind the song. Gotcha. So more like a fantasy. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. And plus, it was during cuffing season when I came out with it. Okay, okay. so it's kind of like when cuffing season really started, like kind of getting popular because a lot of people hadn't even heard of cuffing right. season. I'm like, what is that? So I had to explain it. So, yeah. Right. And when did you drop that project? Uh, I dropped my project, uh, The Cycle, in 2018 in December. Okay. So it's just kind of like moving now. Uh, yeah. How How has that journey been? Uh, Ooh, I is, cried. Is that, is that the first one? Was that, that was my one? first project. First it was called The Cycle. Right? The Cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I cried so many times. Why? It was so hard. It's so hard and expensive. It is. Oh expensive. my God. I was yeah. like, why do I want to come out with an album? I could just drop a single <laughs> after a single after a single. But I was like, you know, I just kind of want to accomplish a body of work that give the people something to come back to. Right. So I'm so satisfied with it, though. I can't yeah. lie. Yeah, it came it's out, definitely came a vibe. Yeah. And I'm not just saying it because it's me. Like, right. other people told me that. Right. What's up? What's up? <laughs> how, how, can they, how can they pick that? I can hear it. So the cycle is available on all digital platforms, oh. all of them. Mm -hmm. And make sure you follow me on Pandora, Amanda right. Sheree. You can find the album, like I said, everywhere: iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, everywhere, 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 everywhere. Man, what's so? What's the? Uh, what's the main vibe or mode that you like to get into when you're uh, creating content, <clears throat> or is it just kind of you? You're making, you know, what I'm saying music that of different thoughts that inspire you. I will say it's definitely just different thoughts and different things that I've went through. Like the cycle is basically about a relationship. Honestly, like all of us go through a cycle with somebody. So you find somebody, you like them, you talk to them a little bit. Mostly it's about sex or whatever in the beginning, uh, sexual attraction or whatever you want to call it. You try to break up with them, but they say some. They say the right words to bring you back in. Then at the end, you're like, I don't even want to. Why do I want to be in a relationship? You give up and what you do? You meet somebody else, you do the same stuff all over again. You're really just doing the same thing over and over again until you find the perfect person that it fits with, pretty much. So that's what the cycle is about. If you listen to every song, it's really telling the story because that's literally what I went through last year. Like, uh, for real, for real. Yeah. Yeah, real life, real talk, yes. real talk. You know what I'm no fabrication. Yeah. 
who was some uh who was some artists or some people that influenced you uh to you know what I'm saying start singing or continue singing? Uh I will say Aaliyah, Beyonce, yeah. Eric Bellinger. I love Eric Bellinger. I love him so much. Tank. Um that was a comp- seven streeter because honestly all of those people they're singer songwriters so that's what i really love the most about them so yeah gotcha and you you write your music i write all my songs every song is written by me man. no help no help man and I, I know that that's a, a a process within itself you know what let me tell you how i got into writing i got into writing when i was in college i was supposed to be in like a singing group right. <laughs> <laughs> So to be in the group, they said you have to write a song. And I was like, but I've never written anything. So shout out to Leah. That's one of my best friends too. Shout out to you. I thank you all the time. If it wasn't for her, swear to God, I would not have been writing. I would have just sang. Whatever they wrote, I would have just sang it. But like I had to write. So that's kind of how I've gotten better and progressed throughout the years. What's that? Man, so um so you said that you've been you've been doing it um you know, on the level you have for about the, the past uh, two years. Yeah. Um, what's something that you've learned along the way? Uh, Talent the- means nothing. Grind is everything. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey, that's a big one. Right that, was, that was a very big pill for me to swallow. Mm. As talented as I am, with me just being talented, if I don't get out there and do nothing, nobody cares. Gotcha. So that's the biggest thing that I've learned. Hey, I will say that. That's real. That's real. And so, man, if you uh, came across, you know, a, a young up and coming singer, uh, you know, that, that wants to get in the game, mm-hmm. uh, what's what's a piece of advice that you would give them? Perfect your craft and stay focused and don't let anybody deter you. If this is what you want to do, do it. Don't apologize. Just do whatever. Any and every opportunity that comes your way, take it. It doesn't matter. Just take it because the more people you get in front of, the more they're going to spread the word about you. So that's another thing that I learned, too. No opportunity is too small. Facts, facts. And you brought up a great point. I say all the time to the young kids that I talk to about perfecting your craft. Definitely. That's big right there uh, because, you know, you're you're just getting yourself polished for the next opportunity. Find Uh, your lane and stick to it. Like, don't try to be like everybody else. If you're good at A, do A, perfect A, and push A. Right. <laughs> like, What's up? What's up? So you got uh, you got anything in the works? What we what we looking so for? So the you next big thing, <laughs> the next big thing I'm working on is a video for Good Love. Okay. I'm probably not gonna drop any new music until next year, but I don't know. It depends on how my my spirit speaks to me. Yeah. But right now, the next thing is a video for Good Love for oh. show for show. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, once again, like if, if, if people want to follow you, they want to follow your music, uh, give out all your social media platforms so, and, and music. So on Instagram, it's Miss Amanda Sheree. That's M-S-A-M-A-N-D-A-S-H-A-R-E-E. I probably spelled it too fast, but you know how to spell Miss and Amanda. So Sheree is S-H-A-R-E-E. Like I said, follow my Pandora station. Follow me on Spotify. I don't really use it, but like, People do. So yeah. can you follow me on Spotify so my numbers can go up too? Oh, yeah. And um, Facebook, Amanda Sheree. Most of everything is Amanda Sheree. My YouTube. Yeah. I just dropped a cover to uh, Playing Games, Summer yeah. Walker. Yeah. Check that out. Give me some comments or something. Like, show me some love. Everything, Amanda Sheree. Just find me, baby. I'm here. For I'm sure. here. For sure, for sure, for <laughs> sure, man. We appreciate you for coming Thank through today. Thank you for having me. Uh, we appreciate you for performing at our event. Thank uh, you. We, I appreciate you for uh, supporting uh, Sid the Man and of his course. creative vision uh, with Indie Friendly. Uh, I appreciate you for supporting Aunt Boogie uh, in his pursuit to uh, support independent artists. I love that. Uh, and so, you know, and then also I appreciate you just being from the hood. So, you know, so <laughs> we're going we to always be saying, you know what? Yeah. H-Town yeah. all the yeah. Yeah, right. Real ghetto, yeah, real right. ghetto. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why, we, that's why we we in the mode today, man. This is the vibe today, man. It's a hard o'clock connection. I ain't even know what I, I mean, we knew without even knowing, man. Uh, but, man, brother, I turn right, man. Mr. Man, Mr. Reed, man, y'all go out there, get the cycle. Uh, check her out on Pandora. Check her out on Spotify, YouTube, All everything, man. And also make sure that y'all go to weareA1.com where you can hear Miss Amanda Cherie's music streaming. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. 
Atumra, A1MCs, we out. Peace. Peace, it's brother Atum Ra, and you tuned in to Action One Network.